Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer, down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. Sigurd! Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway! And well beyond! To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor! By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. And what have you done with yourself since? Drink heavily and weep for what might have been? I have... I have worked hard to broker peace across our land, to spread Harald's message of unity. I heard you sleep beneath Harald's bed, always at his back and call, and that he uses your gaping mouth as a chamber pot. You make light of my service to a great and powerful man. Is that how you treat those who serve you, Sigurd? You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. 
not this one. And you, Eivor? I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... He was... Uh... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd. From the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He is my brother. Not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. The space above. The saga stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nog vat uns membro trurvonti gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, unsum hukas reis derae chasaunsi. Sigurd, I... I don't know what to say. This is all so strange. Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. 
Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? What lies beyond all this? Where does this lead? Take your place at the center there, and you will see. Hail you givers. The guest has come. What is this place? Eivor, Tyr said you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Svala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Evo. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. Sigurd, this place is incredible. Enough with those short flies. You and I must fight. The battle we never had. And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing. Brother! Worry not, Evo. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. <laughs> what just happened? Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. New day. Bid <laughs> to the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will. <laughs> Father, is that you? That cannot have been my father. Skull! Skull! Take your horn. Join the battle cheer. Dearest Skald of war and verse, how do you like this frenzy so far? It is... it is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Baron. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I have seen him. 
Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Ha! Next time I lose this fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it! Do you not tire of these injuries? Never! Wait! Father! Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father. But you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you. ...and his clan. No... ...he... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla... ...the eternal golden field. Now come... ...battle beckons! How are the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I'd sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death. No pain. No loss. No betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? ...to live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell... ...to my dear Volka... ...and came here. I wish you well, Svala... ...but this is not for me.
I must find Sigurd. The arm! The arm! Always the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. This is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it's time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? Alright. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly bussing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. Take off your axe! Me now. You are nothing. With me, 